the one question that comes up all the time is what do I need to do to make sure that people can't steal my songs? You know, what do I need to do? A lot of times people don't eat, they get confused with trademark versus copyright. Yeah. How can we, can we break not. that down so that it's, it's real simple? Sure. I, you know, um, one of the things that I, I inform some of my clients and some of the students that I also work with is that, you know, the copyright law says once it's in tangible form, it's a copywritten piece. Tangible form. So what does that mean? That means as soon as you write down lyrics or as soon as you hit record and then stop after you've recorded it on any kind of device, that song is now in tangible form. It's copywritten. You own it. Correct. Yes. Proving it may be a different thing, yes. but that's not what we're talking about right now. Maybe right. in a few seconds, but the, uh, but yes, you have to have it in some sort of tangible form. Talking about the idea without a recorder is not tangible. No. Uh, writing it on a blackboard or on a piece of paper or jotting it down, you know, in the sand, uh, then it is a tangible form. So, I mean, uh, yeah, that's, that's the key. That's the real key. So get it down somehow, whether you, you, Type it up on your computer, print it out, whether you email it to yourself, whether you just using your voice recorder, just hum it or sing it. As long as you have some kind of tangible form, uh, that is that song is now copywritten by you and you own it. Exactly. So, now, you mentioned proving that you own it, and that's a, it is a whole other thing. Um, and really, that's the true test of who owns a song is, is proving it in a court of law. Hopefully that never happens to you. But if, if, if it does happen, you need to prove that you have gone through the proper steps to show ownership of that song. Yes. And you can either do that, you know, the, the register it with the U S copyright office, which is copyright.gov copyright.gov. And, uh, you can go and register your works through that. That way it's officially registered with the government. Yes. But certainly, if you have it in front of a whole bunch of people and they see it, there are witnesses that you have that tangible form and that it is yours. So yeah. if it ever did get to court, you could always call in your witnesses and say, uh, wasn't I the first? Do you remember that date right. that we talked about that? Right. And we should say we're not lawyers and we're certainly not entertainment lawyers, but um, we do have some experience in, in this industry and we understand the basic concepts. And really, what it's going to come down to is who is playing the song first. And uh, does anyone have proof like a registration with the with the government that shows I wrote this song, I registered it, it's mine. And I get people, and you can probably answer this question just as easily, but they say, what about that poor man's copyright? Can I really stick it in an envelope and mail it to myself? And that's, see, and that's, it's, that's almost taken on the urban legend kind of uh, mythology there. The, 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 Everybody asks that every semester. I teach that class. Um, wh what does that do? Basically, what it does is if you mail something to yourself, it has a postmark on it. So it shows this date. And if you never open it, which, again, I don't know how you can prove whether you open something or not. You know, it may look like it's never been opened. But, you know, there's a, I'm sure there's a lawyer that will challenge anything for money. Sure. Right? <laughs> for money. But that's the whole concept is here. As of this date, I wrote this, you know. I, I did this, and, and, and now this should prove that... Uh, yes, and not only that, it's in tangible form. It's in tangible so form. So you've got a date, and you've got the tangible form, and will it work? That's up to the magistrate or judge. I mean, but yeah. typically, yeah, I would think it would. Right, right. Now, let's go back to registering with the government. Um, I'm of the impression that there's actually two different ways to do this, right? You can register individual works, but then you can also register several works as in an album or CD or I don't know what the digital equivalent is anymore because everything's ah, singles, right? Good point. We're back to singles again. But yeah. back when we used to release albums, LPs, or CDs, you could register all the songs at once. Is that correct? Um, in a book form, they yes. call it. Right. So the book form means, that, you know, you want to cut down on your costs? Uh, the book form may help you because you take all of your stuff, all of your songs, you group them all together, and you put them in one kind of a book. Register them for one fee. Yeah. The nice thing about that is if one of those songs ends up taken off, which of course it will for each one of our listeners. Absolutely. Um, you can always take that out and re-copyright that one piece uh, for your publishing deals that you might want to, you know, that you are going to be putting together. 